What's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm pretty much going to tell you the benefits of Safari over Chrome and Firefox and many other browsers that many people don't know about. Now, the benefits are, are these things called extensions, which a lot of browsers have, but I find the ones for Safari to be especially unique and especially well designed and well thought out. So we're just going to go ahead and jump into this video very quickly. Uh, after finding the use of extensions to be very well, I have ported back over to Safari rather than using Chrome, just because it's faster. But anyway, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to get extensions. So all you're going to do is you're going to go up to Safari and you're going to click Safari Extensions, and it opens a new tab. Now this new tab is very almost App Store-like, especially like the Mac App Store. It's got all your categories over to the left, and then it's got like the kind of really hot, the best, or the most downloaded, um the most popular I guess you could say uh, extensions now all of these extensions are free all you gotta do is download and install and then to activate or configure your extension all you have to do is you go up to preferences you click that and then all you gotta do is you click extensions right there and then you can configure every single different one so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna go through all of the extensions I have now these top six extensions are the ones I find really useful for me at least and I think they'll increase your Safari usefulness and productivity by at least tenfold I know they have for me and I think it's great so we're just going to go ahead and jump into this. Now the first one I have is just a Google Translate one and as you can see this page is in Spanish it is Anton Antonio Zamundo, sorry if I butchered the name, Tumblr blog. Now I find this blog to be really good especially since I found the uh, translate button but uh, he always sends me the blog and it's like oh read it you're featured or oh read it I found something really nice about this so I really like to read his blog and ever since I found this button I find it really useful so all you gotta do is you go to his webpage and you simply click and it brings you to Google Translate and it translates it over to English now I can read this blog with a simple click of a button and I find that to be really useful now moving on we have a simple ad block if you click it you can go ahead and configure it now I do not block YouTube videos just because the ads are used to make money for the really hard work that uh, the YouTube makers put into it so I give them the benefit of the doubt of having those ads on the videos the ads really don't bother me I can wait 15 seconds for their video to come up especially if it's some types of videos I really like so yet again moving on it's just a simple ad blocker ported over to Safari is URL shortener now what URL shortener does is all it does is it takes the URL you have in your address bar and it shortens it to goo.gl and this is extremely well for Twitter I find all you do is click it and it gives you a growl type notification to come down and you can go ahead cut copy and then you can go ahead and paste anywhere so that's a really simple um, URL shortener rather than opening an app or going to the bit.ly site to shorten the URL and I find this to be really useful especially for Twitter users so Twitter users you're definitely going to want to check that one out especially if you use the Twitter desktop client for Mac now again moving on uh, there's something called dim the lights now I have a video loaded especially just to show you guys if we go ahead and play this video you'll notice we'll have all of these just distractions of my videos over to the side we're gonna have all of this writing and all of the recommended channels and subscribers and all that so we're gonna go ahead and mute this real quick now all you gotta do is you go up here and you click the little light bulb and it dims out everything but the video now this allows you to concentrate more on the video than everything else but you can see that everything else on the page is still readable now this is extremely well especially if you're watching a YouTube video or someone you subscribe to and you want to watch the whole video before you go ahead and click like a related link video and you miss out on something so I find this to be really useful when you're watching like videos that have a lot of content or intensive content and you're trying to get work done or something like that so that's a really good app especially if you have a short attention span or if you get distracted easily kind of like me so that's an amazing uh, kind of extension so again all you're going to do is click and it undoes it. So that's uh, called Dim the Lights extension. You can go ahead and find that on the little extension shop, I'm going to call it. I'm not even going to call it a store because everything's free. But anyway, moving on is one click weather. Now, all you do is you click it, you enter your area code, and it gives you your. Um, it gives you your weather in a single click. It loads up weather.com or whatever this is. And it gives you your weather for the next couple of days. So it just brings you to weather.com for your area code. So it's just simply a click to go kind of weather thing. That is definitely useful, especially if your area gets a lot of storms. I'm getting flash floods lately. I'm getting some thunderstorms and scattered thunderstorms. But anyway, that's just a very quick um, 
kind of weather button rather than going to weather.com and going through all the jizz jazz to type in your area code and that. So it's already pre-configured and you just have to click away. Now another one I really like is it's called I think it's called like automated flash. Let me check exactly what it's called. It's called click to flash. Now I find this extremely useful because you click what you want on flash to load. So this is especially useful because everybody knows that flash takes up a lot of resources on your computer. So all you have to do is you click the only part of flash you want to load. So in this case it would be a YouTube video. So say I'm on some type of website and they've got flash animation going all over the place. Your laptop starts to run really hot. Now you don't always want that because it's sucking up your computer resources. So if you have click to flash you can click and it'll load the only flash content that you clicked. So this is like really good just because it's not going to suck up your computer resources and you're only going to play the flash you want. So guys, this was just my top six extensions for Safari. Tell me what your top five or top six or if you have any extensions in Safari and if you like them. Alright guys, so this was Kevin doing a Safari extension guide and I'll see you guys in another video. Alright guys, thanks for watching.